Hello there. Welcome to another video. Um, sometimes when I get up, I like to do a video, and this is first. This is first thing I I woke up. Um. And um. Oh. And I just wanted to do a talk. Um, today. Well, when I woke up. About religion. Now, I was brought up in quite a religious family um, on both sides. Um, and, you know, I've been in, you know, my mum's side or travelling, gypsy kind of people. And I've seen religious people, known religious people, worshipping what they think is, is a Christian God or, or something like that. And to me, they don't look the happiest, right? And it's not because it's the wrong God to follow. It's nothing to do with that. But it's, I think it has to do with the fact that I think people use things like the Bible and religions. It's like what Keanu Reeves once said, that people take refuge in things. Yes, and that, the, the, I'm aware of this because I've seen people do it. Um, you know, I had this unexpected spiritual awakening. I think one of the reasons is because I was like a child. I think I've always been, even now I'm still very, ch even though I'm 33 on my birthday, I'm, I'm very childlike. Um, and I've always been that way. You know, and I think, and also I've never been, I've read one book in my life and it was a children's kind of story book when I was a kid. I can't remember the age I was, but that's the only time um, I've read any sort of book. Yeah, that's the only time I've ever read a book. Um, so I guess that when I had this unexpected spiritual awakening, you could say that I was like an open book that hadn't been written yet. You see, and because I think I had this innocence about me, openness, I think that left the path, the let that let the space for the authentic power to come through, which is the real God. God is an authentic power. Right? And like Jesus Christ apparently once said, you you become the way, you become the truth, you become the life. And this power starts coming through you, but it only happens when you decide the outward world is what it is. The outward world is full of rabbit holes and distractions, and we don't really know the ins and outs and thing of things. And obviously a system at the top is controlling everything, even controls all governments, the really po powerful, wealthy systems beyond what we perceive as governments. And they don't have our best interest at heart. So how? So if 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 they're going to give us a book, then obviously it's not for our best interest. Even though it might say good things in the book, I just would never trust. Well, I know not to trust it, because for twenty four years of my life, first twenty four years, I was looking outward, looking outward. You know, someone better will come, and it never came. And I was always suicidal doing that, doing that way. And then as soon as I looked within, all changed. All started to get better as soon as I started to go within me. And that's why I say that my soul is my guide. My soul is my mentor. And that's what I always say. A motivational speaker once said to me that um, that, that is a unique one. And, and it is, yeah. You're, my soul is my, is my mentor. Um, it wasn't always. My ego used to be my mentor. Before this, I mean, when this spiritual awakening happened, it was unexpected. I wasn't even into this. I didn't even know anything about it. Um, and it happened. I remember when it happened, it started to happen. I sat down on my bed. Might have had a, might have, might have been um, one of that settee beds, you know, the, the beds that it, it turned into a couch. And I sat down one day and I had enough. And I meant it. 
and it was and it was such a powerful authentic feeling in that moment that it obviously manifested this awakening power and then it was like it was like a moment of faith absolute faith in knowing and this and it's like Rumi once said something about that I can't remember the exact quote but that once you you know once you basically have that moment of faith you never let it go and it just gets stronger and stronger that's kind of how like my awakening was and I never read Bibles. I, I don't even, even the science stuff I, I speak about, I don't look it up. That's the thing. I don't, when I talk about parallel realities, I talk about it. Then I, I look it up after to see if anyone said anything about it. And I find out that scientists are saying the same things. And this is because in that awakening, you're interacting with um the you that lives in heaven. Now, heaven, you've got a heaven self, Right? But um, you can't interact with that when you're brainwashed by anything outward. Now, you can read the Bible and not be like that. <clears throat> it's all to do with how you look at things. That doesn't mean you, you can, you, if you are a Muslim, that you're going to be not able to go within. It's all to do with your perception. It's all to do with your state of awareness. If you have, the, if you... If you look at things in an authentic way and you're on the path of, of that, then everything, everything will become a message from God. Everything will become a miracle. This is what happened to me. And I have never, you know, my family are religious and, and I've, I probably know some religious sayings or, or something from the Bible. I once listened to an audio book of Genesis and to me, it was like a, fa a, a children's fairy tale. I personally think that religions are just made up stories. And because the system allows it, that tells me that it's not for our best interests. Because you can get someone coming across as Jesus or light, and they might think that they're better than Jesus. They might think that they are, they're, they're slightly different, but you don't see the difference, you see. You see? And if you look at religion, what's it always trying to teach us? It's always trying to get you to follow their path. It's like it doesn't want you to look within. Right? If you look at that's the message. Follow me or you'll go to hell kind of kind of message. Um and that's just not to me a a holy power. That's not love. Love is loving one without, without even their approval. You know, it's unconditional love. That's real godly love. Um, I didn't even know what love was before the spiritual awakening. I don't think one can know what, um, what spiritual love is until they have that big awakening. And then once you have that big awakening, you start opening up to the spiritual powers that's all around us. You know, the, around us is a spiritual atmosphere and we are in an illusion of a physical atmosphere. Um, and, you know, the, the outward world in, on this planet, I've come to realise it's during this awakening, is designed to distract us from and to, to, to present all these rabbit holes and things to go down. I mean, look what's happened just now with the Black Lives Matter movement, taking down all the monuments. We don't know if that's happened before. That might have happened before. Right? There is stories saying that someone like Jesus came before Jesus. So you don't, we don't really know what is made up and what isn't. So that's why the only thing left, to, is the obvious thing left, is to go within. That's the only thing that we know for sure our heart vortex the heart area, the only thing you, you, that you know you can trust. Everything else, else is just madness. We don't know if the if the Bible is stories. We don't know if it's real. We don't know if some of it's real. We don't just don't know. There's so many questions that we would have to ask, and at the end of the day, the system's allowing all the ex, all the external things to be there, and they censor things on the internet that they don't want to be there, like the truth. So that tells you. 
that um, the system doesn't have our best interest at heart. And like I say, once you start to go within and you start to listen to that, you start to spiritually awaken. But when you mean it, and this is the path to true happiness. Happiness is a state of pure joy within yourself because you're really proud of yourself. Like, for example, my path. You know, I once had terrible depression. I haven't had any depression now for five years, just about five years. Um, and so it's happiness I've learned is a, is a real satisfactory feeling. And it grows and grows and grows. And it's like a relationship. And through this, through this path, I, I've understood about real how to make a relationship work. A lot of people don't know that. Because they haven't spent the time that I've spent alone, you see. I, I've spent a lot of time alone, even before this awakening. I was always spend time alone. And that's why a lot of people don't understand about the relationship. When you're alone, you, the only thing you can work with is yourself. And that's a jewel in itself. You know, you're working with something. And then you realise that all relationships start with that. And once you forgive... I've said this before about forgiveness. Once you start to, to, to have that relationship within, you realise that all outward relationships work the same way. What's within is what you experience outward. All a mirror. You see? And that's the real path of of, um, you could say, Christ consciousness, right? This is the real awakening. And so we need to not forget about religions or whatever you believe in. I personally think religions are mental disorders. I think they develop into mental disorders where people are, dis you know, are believing in something they don't even know is true. And that's that, what that does is it presents you with, in, with doubts, about what you're talking about. Like Osho once said that I don't believe in believing. And that I'm exactly the same. You know, because if I was um, seeing some lassie, if I believe she's into me, that's not enough. I need to know, I need to feel it. Right? And that's like everything. Right? When you're, um, you know, I don't pray because... In this awakening, I realize that I'm all of infinity. So I'm the God. So why would I pray when I'm the God? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. All I need to do is go within me because we are, we are all gods because everything is the same infinity. Right? I've even seen scientists say this because everything starts from nothingness, meaning all, that's all of infinity. And that means that we are all that infinite nothing. Right? And it's all your sense of self determines your reality. And that's why when you start to perceive that you're all of infinity, you start to ascend. You start to ascend past the third dimension. And you go right into, you could say, Christ consciousness, infinite love. And um, this is how you do it, but it starts by you meaning this path of awakening. And that starts by really meaning to go within. You know, your soul, God, only listens to authenticity. You know, your soul is connected to the heaven self, as I've said before. Right, And we need to realize that Bibles and religions and outward things are just another refuge that we take because subconsciously we, um, we want to be comfortable. But that doesn't spiritually awaken us. Right? You need to take that step up. If you want to really heal and live a path of abundance and joy, prosperity, which is abundance, infinite abundance, you need to be present and look within and realize that you are your savior within you. And I'm just going to leave it there. Um, for latest updates, videos, etc., um, please do visit my website at www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening.